Hey co-friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I finally got my hands on the Shark Hyper Air Blow Dryer and Diffuser. I know, I know I'm super late to the game, but since this is such a popular blow dryer, I thought I needed to try it to include it in my blow dryer battle. I have so many diffusers that I wanna do a full on comparison of all the ones that I own, the top dogs from Dyson to Curlsmith to Ion to Pattern's new blow dryer. And I didn't think it was right to have a competition without the Shark being included. Not only the Hyper Air Dryer, their new and improved Flex Styler as well. Now, although they did send me both of these blow dryers, this video is not sponsored. They don't even know I'm doing this video. I have zero obligation to do or say anything. I just wanted to compare both of them before we go into the finals. So today I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison and going through all the specs so you know which one to get if you're deciding between two different sharks. So first of all, let's talk about the price. The price is probably the main deciding factor when deciding on which blow dryer diffuser you wanna get. We all know that the top dog is usually Dyson. Everyone always makes a blow dryer and they wants it compared to the Dyson. They've kind of set the industry standard, if you will. But it's like over $400. For that blow dryer i own it i bought it with my own money and i'm still mad at the price even though i absolutely love my dyson it's just too expensive <laughs> so i'm all about finding a dupe something that works just as well for a fraction of the cost and luckily the shark hyper air is only 229 dollars and the flex style is 200 79.99 so 280 dollars now the hyper air comes with two different attachments so there is their diffuser or let me learn how to take these off it's not a magnet like the dyson oh like a twist and click situation then it has a concentrator nozzle which is also cool because this has this little toggle here it comes in and out so you have like a wider airflow and a very concentrated airflow so that's pretty cool if you're doing some straight styles, pops right off. And then the diffuser, my favorite part, has the same little switch here. You can have low prongs or extend them. The extension is really good so you could hit your roots. It just really gets in there without really touching it, helping avoid frizz. And you can kind of just like raise it up almost like a, a comb, if you will. Usually our root is what takes the longest to dry. So this really hits the roots, dries that first, and then you can go ahead and diffuse the rest of your head. So I really love this little detail here. The short one, it says for shorter hair and styling your ends, you could do that. And then when you switch it, it says for longer hair and reaching roots. That would be me. Now let's talk about the Flex Style. The Flex Style is not only a diffuser like this, but if you hold this little switch on the back, it goes up and then you can attach a curling wand. I've probably used a curling wand twice in my life, uh, on my wigs of course. And I have to admit that even I am very intrigued by this because it's just like the other Dyson one where the hair kind of like flies to it and attaches and then makes these big curls. I do think it takes a little bit of practice after watching a couple videos. Not everyone just does it perfectly on the first try if you've never used one. But it seems like a really easy way to style and get big curls. I mean, not as beautiful as your natural ones, of course. But I do think I wanna do another video one day, wear one of my straight wigs and try this attachment. Let me know if you guys are interested. So if you ever wear your hair not curly or your hair is wavy or you have a sister or mom or roommate that might want to benefit from this it might be good to have like a two for one combo just switch it and then attach your diffuser so basically you're getting two different styling products for the price of one that's pretty cool so once again, the Hyper Air comes with the diffuser or the nozzle. If not, you could choose to get the concentrator nozzle and their styling brush attachment, which looks like this. The Flex Style has six different attachments for you to choose from. So you have your diffuser. It comes with two different wands. Are these the same size? Oh, I didn't know why we had two of these. One of them says L and one says R. 
So that must mean left and right. So left side probably curls out one way and the right probably curls the other. Oh, that's good to know. It also comes with concentrator. This one doesn't seem to go in and out. So that's just like a standard concentrator nozzle. And then it also comes with this brush. So if you want to do like big round, you know, straight bangs or whatever style you're using, I've never used this attachment before. Um, you could just swap it out and use it as needed. The versatility is kind of unmatched. So if you're someone that switches up your hair a lot, this would be a great investment for you because you just get a lot of bang for your buck. One thing I was a little noticing is that one of the main selling points of the hyper air is the giant diffuser this is a really wide bowl but it's a different size on the flex style so I don't know why they'd make the attachment smaller the body shape is probably one thing it's a lot wider so I guess they wouldn't be interchangeable the diffuser attachment is a little bit smaller on the flex style but it does at least still have the length changing prongs so that's cool they're also really trying to keep this lightweight, so they probably wanted to keep this smaller so things don't get too heavy. Now with the Hyper Air price point, it is $229. As of right now, peeking at the website, they are having a 50% off spring sale, so that would bring it down to around $195. Okay, we got a one in front of the number. That's good. Um, some of you have told me you've seen it at Costco for $179.99. I've seen it at Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Walmart for $169.99, but there is a catch. If you really pay attention, you'll notice that those prices do not include the diffuser. Those only come with the concentrator nozzle and the brush attachment. And if you're watching this video, there's a 90% chance that you want the diffuser because you probably have curly hair. So that cheaper price point isn't really going to help us with curly hair if you want a diffuser. Your best bet is going to be just to buy it directly from the Shark website. Other benefits include they have free shipping. I hate paying for shipping. I'm okay with spending like $500, but if shipping is $20, I might just cancel the whole cart. So the Shark website offers free shipping, there's a 60 day money back guarantee, there's a two year warranty. So all those things are included if you buy straight from the source. So in this case, that's what you're gonna wanna do. So cheaper of the two is the Hyper Air, but I do think you get more for your money if you get the Flex Style for just $50 more. Now let's actually just try them out. So let me go back in time to when my hair was soaking wet to see how these work. Okay, before my hair dries, oh, it's already dry. Man, my hair is drying faster than normal. Uh, I just added the Bond Bar Styling Cream. Now I'm going to add the Texture ID Curl Styling Custard so we can get some hold and see how the diffuser does with frizz. Smoothing this in. Oh, this smells so good. Luckily, this gel is really moisturizing, so it's kind of adding that moisture back in my hair. So we'll get a good test from wet to dry. Since I am doing a split test of one dryer versus the other, let's get a good middle part right down the middle. This is the worst color. Do a middle part. That's crooked as hell. Okay, let's start off on this side. And we're just gonna start off with the lowest fan speed and lowest heat speed. Gotta get the timer. Let's begin. I want to stop at the five minute mark so that way I can start on this side before it gets too much air dry time. I want this to be as fair as possible, but it's feeling really good thus far. Not completely dry, but it's getting there. Now this time I'm going to use the Shark Flex Style. Three fan speeds, three heat settings, cool shot button. All the buttons are flush, flat. Let's do this. Oh, timer. So after just five minutes, I think the diffuser side does feel more dry than the flex style. It could be because of the larger diffuser bowl is getting more hair, so it's making it a little bit faster. But let's go back and continue and see how long it takes in total. I'm gonna finish this off with a high fan speed, probably medium heat. So while I'm diffusing, let's also get down to the nitty gritty details of this blow dryer and diffuser. So this is the Hyper Air IQ technology. It's supposed to intelligently combine high velocity heated air and ionized air. 
It's claiming to deliver ultra fast drying with no heat damage. I'm really surprised at these very strong claims of no heat damage because that's obviously what we want, but um, that's great news. The Shark Hyper Air has three fan speeds and three heat settings. It also has a cool shot button. One thing that I'm not exactly a fan on is that you do have to hold the cool shot button down for it to work. I like just being able to push it once, it locks in place, and then I can push it again and it'll go away. And I also noticed that it doesn't really get cool. The temperature does drop to more of like a warm, but it doesn't actually feel cool. And I do like when my diffusers literally have cold air blowing out. So I was surprised that it didn't actually get too cool. The negative ion generator in here increases the smoothness and shine while decreasing frizz and flyaways. This blow dryer and diffuser weighs 1.65 pounds, so it is pretty lightweight. The wattage is 1,680 and it has 14 amps, making it a little heavier than the Flex Style at 1.54, but everything is flushed on the handle instead of in front. And stop, stopping at nine minutes and five seconds. I would say it's dry. It's just so weird for me to diffuse one side at a time. I'm always flipping my hair a lot when I diffuse, so I already know this is gonna be flatter than I like just because I don't usually diffuse one half at a time. But let me finish this side and then maybe I'll go back and fluff. So nine minutes, five seconds. Let's reset the clock. Now let's talk about the flex style. This is supposed to help you build the perfect tool for your hair type because there's so many different styling attachments. Whether you want to blow out, you want to diffuse your curls, you want to straighten it, you want volume, you want to create waves or curls, it could basically do everything. Now using this one second, I did realize that it's a little less powerful than the blow dryer, but it's still getting the job done. Time, three minutes and 30 seconds, so five, six, seven, eight minutes and 30 seconds versus nine minutes and five seconds. So we're looking at like a 35 second difference, but this side did feel like it was hotter, therefore maybe drying a little bit faster, but I mean, 30 seconds isn't a big deal. Mm, this one actually might need 30 more seconds. Five seconds over. But basically, same amount of time. I think they both, did the same thing in the same amount of time. Nice. Why did I wear a sweatshirt to diffuse in? Now for the sake of fluff, I do want to diffuse how I usually do to get more volume and flip my hair around. Let's just continue to use the new one. Now we're talking. We are completely dry. My hair is looking very shiny and defined. Minimal frizz on both sides. I think they look basically exactly the same. A little bit here, probably from my fluffing, but not a major difference. So that is how I got to this point right here. I don't really notice a big difference between the two sides, and I feel like they relatively performed in the same way. If I had to choose which one would I like grab if I had both to diffuse my curls, I might pick the Shark Hyper Air because I feel like it is a little bit more powerful. I do like the wider diffuser nozzle. Um, I just did a really great job. Whereas the Flex Style relatively did the same thing, a little bit smaller of a diffuser attachment, wasn't as powerful. I would wanna keep the Flex Style on the lowest heat setting, where with the diffuser I feel like I can go to at least medium and be okay. But even still, I might have preferred it on the lowest heat setting on this one. So it can get pretty hot. Probably should have used the heat protectant today. Style wise, you notice that all of the buttons are here on the front where your hand is for the flex style and the hyper air. They're on the back of the blow dryer right here, power button here and cool shot on the front. So while you're doing your hair, you might need to like stop, change, and go. Or with the flex style, you can go like this and then you just kind of look. I don't know what's what I prefer being one-handed, because if it was on the back, I'd probably use my other hand. I guess he's still one-handed. I don't know, what do you guys like better? All the buttons on the front or on the back of the blow dryer? The weight, the Hyper Air is a little bit heavier at 1.65 pounds, and the Flex Style is 1.54 pounds. The wattage on this one is 1,300, the wattage on this is 1,680. 
This one has 14 amps. This one has 10.83. So because a blow dryer is like blowing out more power, I could see why this one would be more powerful. Where with a curling wand, things are just kind of straight up. You don't necessarily need as much like airflow and power, but it still did a great job. There wasn't a big enough difference for me to not like this one being more compact and more versatile. In conclusion, if I were to advise you on which one to buy, if you only wear your hair curly and you never change it, never wear wigs, you might as well save the $50 and get the Hyper Air. If you ever change your hair ever or wear wigs or have someone else in your household that would benefit from using a curly wand if you're willing to share, I would get the Flex Styles because you can do more with it and when you push this, you feel like a ninja. Like if I pick this up and then I'm just like, to do. I can see why so many people like this blow dryer. It gets the job done. And I can't wait to go head to head with the rest of my blow dryers. Will I say it's better than the Dyson? I don't know. I want to really compare it in my next comparison video. But if you ask me this being around $200 versus $400, I mean you could buy two of these for the price of one Dyson. You could literally just be like this and really diffuse your hair in half the time. And you would have spent the same amount as buying one Dyson. If you have tried the Shark Hyper Air or the Flex Style, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you love about your blow dryer and diffuser. What features really stood out for you? What is like the main selling point? Do you like really large diffuser bowls? Do you like the long prongs? Do you like the heat settings? Are you worried about the price? Like what is really a deal breaker for you? I'm going to continue to try both of these diffusers up until it's time for the blow dryer Olympics. It's a working title, let me know what you guys want me to call it. <laughs> that way I could just really form a strong opinion on these diffusers in comparison to my other faves. If you enjoyed this comparison video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you're notified when I post a new video so you don't miss the big diffuser battle. You also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee today.